Callahan, and this is Tricky TV, the show which makes people shout, oh, I want to do that. laugh, <laughs> and get totally confused. Oh. oh my god. Here's what's coming up on today's show. I'm going to tell you the secret behind this great balancing We've trick. Got it. How is it possible to drink from a glass without using your hands? Well, you'll find out in today's Beat the Cheat. And we're causing a shock in the library in another wicked wind-up. Do you know something? I think it's going to be one top show today, and we're going to kick things off with a top trick. Now, here we've got an elastic band, and I'm going to loop it over these two fingers just here. So you can see it's secure on those two fingers. There's no way it can escape. Unless, of course, I say this word. Get ready. Jump. And it will jump from these two fingers to these two. Cool. Do you know, everyone who sees this trick thinks it's amazing. Jump. It really does amaze everyone, and when I tell you how to do the trick later, you'll amaze people too. Welcome. For today's big trick, we travel back in time to an era of knights in shining armour and damsels in distress. Now we're in the banqueting hall of this great castle for a medieval big trick, and. Hang on. Hello, lovely lady. Do you have a room for the night? <laughs> Tonight? <laughs> for this night? <laughs> it's not comedy night, Stephen. <laughs> ah, it's not comedy night. Like it. No. Anyway. To make sure there's no funny business going on, I brought all of my friends from Orchard House School. Hello! Hey! Hello, hello, hello. Now, welcome to this brilliant trick. I think you're going to really, really like it. Um, you would tell me if I look silly in this, wouldn't you? Yes. OK. <laughs> now, the idea is I'm going to try and build my own castle. Now, I'm going to place this on. This. It is a bit tight. Now, I'm going to pull it down like this. You won't leave me, will you? Let's get on with the magic. Now. It's this way. Here we go. Now, keep your eye on the castle at all times. It's hard to see in this, you know. Right, where am I? Good. Pop that just there. And continue on. Good. Next one. This is like a DIY castle. Nearly there. Right. I hope I fit. This one goes there. Perfect. Right, in I go. Don't take your eyes off it. There we are, we told you something magic would happen. But where's Stephen? I'm up here. There you are. All in a night's work. And that really is tricky.
I am here with the very lovely Nikki Sanderson, best known for playing Candice in the number one soap, Coronation. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Very warm. It is lovely warm, out today. Which is why I've laid on the drinks. You see. <laughs> You're ever so nice to me, aren't you, I know. Stephen? Look, I've got a great trick to show you. But okay. um, have you got any coins? Yeah. Money? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got a few. Do you want to okay. pick? I don't know. Let's go for two p. That'll do. That's okay. Fine. Now you know what a two p doesn't go inside. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't fit in the top. Does it? Doesn't fit. It's too big. Exactly. So it doesn't go in the top. Definitely doesn't go in the bottom. Or does it? Take the coin. Yeah. Have a look at the date on it. Okay. okay. It's the important thing. Have a look at the date. 2005. Okay, remember that. 2005. Okay. Watch this. One, two, three. <laughs> now have a look inside and make sure it's your coin. Check the date out if you can. Yeah, it's 2005. <laughs> yeah? yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Now, here comes the best bit. Okay, that was okay. it going in. Okay. Now it's got to come out. Down the bottom again. No, 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 watch this. Oh, okay. see, it's still got some liquid in the bottom as well, which is always good. That's nice. Watch, here we go. That's nice. That's nice. Hopefully. Let's see. Have a look. Check the date. Does it have. Yeah, it does. 2005. There you go. That's clever. Will you teach me that one? Will I teach you it? Yeah. Are you not allowed to tell the tricks of the trade? Honestly? No. No. Let's see. So, listen, no, thanks very much for. Hang on a second. What? Watch, come around here again. Come around here again. Watch. One, two. You can keep that. Oh, it's a memento. <laughs> Have a check. Hey, I knew you loved me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is definitely in there, I promise. And that's Nicky Sanderson. And this, as you know, is Tricky TV. Tricky mm. <laughs> Now, don't worry, I haven't run away and joined the circus. We've just perfected this incredible balancing trick. Okay. Okay, Jacob, you ready? Ready, Stephen. Here we go. We've done it! And if you stick around, we'll show you how we did this amazing stunt. All steady. Still to come in Beat the Cheat, how is it possible to drink from the bottom glass without using your hands? Oh! We cause mayhem at the library in a wicked wind-up. And in the secret circle, I'll show you how to make the elastic band jump. We're still here practicing our acrobatics, but before Jacob gets a headache, let's reveal how we did it. You see, it's all a matter of perspective. From up there, it looks like a very neat trick. But from down here, it doesn't look half as impressive. You see, myself and Jacob, we're just lying on our backs just off the ground. But when Keith films from up here, it looks amazing. And it looks like Jacob really is balancing on my head. Tell you what, Jacob, I think we can stop doing this now, mate. Nicely done. I hope you haven't got nits. <laughs> if you see someone offering the chance to win some easy money, there's probably a con involved. But if you know some of their secrets, then you can beat the cheat. Right, the idea of this challenge involves two, uh, two glasses, OK? And uh, there's obviously a drink inside this one. I'm going to balance this glass on top of this one. And they're plastic glasses, so that's OK. And uh, the idea is you've got to try and get this glass off this one without using your hands or putting it down. And you've got to drink that drink, again, without using your hands. Who thinks they can do it? Oh, he's not using his hands. Will he do it? I can't drink it. Go oh, come on, Lucas. Can he do it? Oh! oh. Nearly, though. Very close. Anybody else have an idea? You have? Come and have a go. Don't use my hand. You're not allowed to use your hands. You're not allowed to put this glass down, but you've got to be able to drink the drink. You're not allowed to put the cup down. Not allowed to put the cup down. Not allowed to use your hands. 
And he's got a chain to chain. Go on! Oh! Come on! Now I can see quite a few of you are uh, trying to work this out. What's your name? Isaac. Isaac, good to see you, Isaac. Right, off you go then, fella. Okay. He's thinking about it. Will he be able to do it? Oh. Oh. Do you know, these people will never ever succeed because he is cheating. He's onto a surefire winner. But if they knew the cheat, then they could do it. And here it is. So remember, the challenge is this. You need to remove the top glass without putting it down and then drink the drink without using your hands. Are you ready? Okay, here goes, no hands. First thing you do is this, which makes you look really cool, all right? Then what you do is pick up the glass with your mouth. I drink the drink. Voila, now you know if you're ever challenged, you'll always be able to beat the cheat. Cheers. We've put together some of the best young magicians in the world to show you some of the amazing tricks they can perform. These are the Young Magicians. It's Megan's turn to take centre stage. Megan pushes the red silk hanky into her hand. Now watch what happens. From a silk to a rose. Neat trick, Megan. Trick. <laughs> Remember the trick I did earlier on with the elastic band that jumped when I said jump? Well, this lot won't forget it either. Here you can see this, uh, this elastic band, and it's around these two fingers just there. And there's nowhere I can come off. But watch, I'm gonna make it jump from these two to these two. Watch, ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow! Do you know, this always gets a great reaction, and I think you're going to like it too when you know the secret. Here it is. Always remember to keep the back of your hand facing the person that you're doing the trick on, because the secret move happens around the back. And I'll just turn around so you can see this, okay? When you stretch the elastic band to prove it's definitely on those two fingers, you close your hand into a fist. So all your fingers are now inside the band. Then, when you open your hand, the trick works itself. Watch. The band jumps. Now, when you perfected this and you've got it up to speed, it looks like this. You say, look, the band is definitely on the fingers. It can't come off. So already I've done it. Look, we're in position there. But no one knows that. Then you open your hand and it will jump. It's such a cool trick. And here's a tricky tip for you, which is really neat. If you get a larger elastic band, and just twist it around your fingertips. So now the elastic band is definitely trapped. Watch this, look, definitely trapped on the fingers. It still jumps. And it just uses the same secret. Look, fingers go in the band, open up your hand, and it will jump. How <laughs> good is that? And now, this is really neat. You've got to check this out, okay? If you get two elastic bands, different colours. Okay, the blue one is on these two fingers and the red one is on these two fingers. And again, remember, they are both definitely on. No way they can escape, but watch. They're going to exchange places in three, two, one, now. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I'll tell you what, try and work that one out yourself, but don't worry if you can't, because I'll show you the secret another time, because you are part Secret Circle. Whilst in the library, there are certain rules you must follow. No eating, no running, no looking up rude words in the dictionary. You know what I'm saying. But there's one rule that must be obeyed above all the others, and that is you must be quiet. What did you say? 
Keith, you must be quiet. I can't hear you, Stephen. You must be quiet, Keith! <gasps> sorry, sorry. Sorry. See what you made me do? Do you know what? We're going to make this the noisiest library ever. In just a moment, pupils from St John's Primary School will be turning up to do a research project all about ancient Egypt. Of course, the research project isn't real at all. We've just made it up. Now come over here, because this book is one of the things they're going to have to find for their project. When they open it, that's going to happen. And to make more noise, when they use the computer, listen to this. And just for added measure, this chair is going to give them a big, big shock. Oh yeah, don't think I'm going to sit on it, do you? Oh no, 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 no. Now, these three here, Philippa, Holly and Ben, they are in on the wind-up. So now all we need to do is just hide our cameras and make lots of noise. Are you looking for anything in particular, ladies? There I am being Norris, the librarian with our first pair of victims. You're doing the project as well? and everything seems to be just fine in a library. Little do our victims know, they're being watched by hidden cameras. Quite a few, uh, which you'll, 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 you'll like to enjoy. So help yourself. help yourself. The girls are being very good. Yes, and nice and quiet too. They're just about to touch our booby trap computer. Watch this. Do you mind, ladies? This is a library. Nice and quiet, please. <laughs> Look at their faces. They're trying to switch it off, but they can't because we're in control. That's better. Ooh. Our stooges pretend to be irritated. <laughs> and our victims are very embarrassed. This pair have chosen to use the book that falls apart. Let's see how they react. You should never destroy books in the library. Pick those up immediately, please. The girls are now sitting quietly in front of our rigged computer. Let's fire it up again. She thinks by pressing the escape key it'll stop the music. It actually makes the bookshelf behind her collapse. Oh, what a mess. Goodness me. Have respect for the library equipment. While this girl tidies up the books on the floor, her friend is still banging the computer keyboard. Now, these two lads think our library is funny, but look what happens when we play the loud music from the computer and give this guy a buzz on the chair at the same time. <laughs> Let's see a wicked replay! <laughs> It's electric chair time again. Let's give this poor guy a shock. <laughs> His friend thinks it's funny. Now, let's fire up the music from the computer, the electric chair and the bookshelf too. It's all happening at once. Let's turn the music off now. I'm going to have to sort these two out. Can you tell me what's going on? Well, it's a downtown radio, it's all this sound. Did you throw them on the floor? No, no. Well, who did? We're just sitting here reading news. Our wicked one up library kept us amused for hours. <laughs> Take a look at this. Nice round of applause. There you go. Well done, boys. Nicely done. <laughs> Next time, watch out for a special trick with a bird of prey as my assistant. We amaze Philip Schofield with a bit of tricky magic. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> And do you think it's possible to make someone float in midair? Well, you will next time. 
Yes, that's all coming up next time. But right now, let's take a look at some of the things that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? I knew they were going to do it. And they promised me they wouldn't. But they did. That's really bad. Have a look at this. Come here, you! I like it. Now, I'm... <laughs> 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 oh, man. I got a sweat on just thinking about it. Look at me! I'm Spider Man! Dragon! Dragon.